we were flying from New Jersey to Cape Cod Hyannis on a crystal clear day on a Saturday morning. I'd flown that flight hundreds of times. We were arriving and I was just coming into the downwind for runway 24, a runway I've landed at hundreds of times. I got to 1,500 feet and I was midfield, downwind, cleared to land, so I went to disconnect my autopilot. At that point, as soon as I disconnected it, the trim tab next to my knee just went crazy and it started turning and the nose started to elevate up rapidly, uncontrollably. So for a moment, I had very little control over the aircraft. I was at lower speed, low, and my airspeed was decreasing rapidly. And that's where I'll tell you the SimCom experience is invaluable. Because I sat for a few seconds and I said to myself, I've seen this before. And I think when an emergency like that presents, if you've seen it before, you have a chance. But you have to have really gone through it, not just sort of written it in a notebook. You have gone through it, and SimCom had taken me through it step by step. The plane was so nose high by that time that I couldn't even reach over. I knew from my SimCom training, pull the circuit breaker. I couldn't reach it. So I grabbed behind me and hit my daughter and yanked her up and told her to sit in the right seat because the right seat was empty. I was completely terrified, but my adrenaline definitely kicked in and got me to calm down and realize that. Panicking wasn't going to do anything. I just had to do exactly what my dad told me. I showed her which circuit breaker to pull, and she pulled the circuit breaker. But unfortunately, it was exactly the same as school. Nothing happened. It just continued. So we went to try and disconnect the autopilot circuit breaker system, and it wouldn't disconnect. And the plane kept going straight upwards. So I knew from the training that the only thing left was to overpower that motor by ourselves, but I've been taught to do that. And he still was calm about the whole situation. He knew exactly where to go from there. And he said, okay, now all, your only job is to keep this down, push it down as hard as you can. So at this point, I put my knees up on it. Um, I had to reach over and try to hold the trim wheel as best as I could, but our arms were crossing and it was such a panicky moment for me that our hands are cut and there's blood everywhere. And looking around, it looked ridiculous afterwards. So we overpowered it and we landed the aircraft and landed safe and sound with no harm actually to us or the aircraft, but the trim tab was still spinning out of control. My hands were still shaking when I got off the plane and I just remember being so happy to walk out of the plane door. I'd been to other schools and SimCom was much more individualized, much more personal, and I believe much more thorough when it came to airplane training, especially for a pilot like me.